What's up YouTube, it's your boy Willie the Gun Guy. So today I got a video, it's more of an informational video again. So now next week I'm posting informational videos. Why? It's because there's so many new gun owners. So many new gun owners, and a lot of them don't know what they're doing. Uh, like I was at the shooting range the other day, um, <clears throat> you know, a couple of misfires, happened to mishaps. A lot of people shooting right over their, the, bound, the mounds. <clears throat> uh, so a lot of stuff been happening to where I just want to make this video for the new gun owners who decided to come in. So today, we're gonna actually teach you guys how to shoot. This is gonna be, uh, it's like my beard is tangled up right there. So this isn't gonna, we're not going to the range today. This is day one. This is day one. We're not going to the range today, guys. We need to actually learn how to shoot. This is free info I'm giving you guys because they teach you guys this at the uh, range for $100, you know what I'm saying? So, today, you guys looking at my beautiful CZP09. Uh, let me give you guys a close up of that. So look at that. Beautiful. So, first thing you want to do with learning how to shoot is always make sure your firearm is clear unless you know it's not clear. And what I mean by that is, in a real life scenario, I don't want to keep this gun laying around if I'm not using it. So. <clears throat> If I got this gun laying around, just think about it. Anyone, a kid, minor, teenager, teenager, first of all, definitely teenagers because they love like, oh, gun, I'm gonna take pictures and post it on Snapchat. Uh, I'm gonna show my friends, I'm gonna go take this out the house. You guys gotta think before you act. So a gun is not a toy, unless it's a BB gun, you know what I'm saying? Because that was pretty fun. But let's get, let me get serious. A gun is not a toy. First thing you want to do, if you, if, you, if you don't have nowhere to lock this up at and say you're going to keep it in like a dresser drawer, make sure your firearm is empty if you have kids around. So, <clears throat> based off of this, I can tell this firearm may or may not have something in it just because this is locked back. So let's see guys, load it, I'm sorry, the magazine is loaded, firearm, Well, I'll be loaded, so it's empty now, but this is still locked back in that position. Boom. So now your firearm is empty. So that's step one. If you if you're not if if you're not going out, if you're not comfortable with firearms, make sure it's empty. I'd rather you make sure it's empty than you shoot yourself. So step one, make sure your firearm's empty. Step two. Make sure you have a firm grip on your firearm when you're gonna shoot it. And when I say firm grip, you better ball up your fist like you're gonna knock somebody out. So, firm grip around that handle, firm grip. You see that? You see the muscles popping out? Firm grip, because when you shoot this, you don't wanna be all over the place. You don't wanna have it shaking your hand. When you shoot this, you want as minimal recoil as possible. So, firm grip, <clears throat> make sure your, your hand is all the way up top. Your hand should match. Perfectly right there. Firm grip, boom. Then you want to go ahead and get your second hand. Whatever's best for you though. It's what's ever most comfortable for you. This is how I shoot. And from the past videos, you guys see how I shoot, you guys know it works. So this is how I do it. Another ball fist. I'll put these three fingers over these three knuckles and I squeeze tight. So I'm always squeezing twice tight, and that's on both my left and right hand. Why? Because you don't want this firearm jumping around. So, boom, that, boom, that, squeeze tight. And then on this side, I always keep this one up, and then I always keep that one on top of it like that. So, boom, 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 all three angles. So, there's two ways you can do this. When you draw from the hip, so this is, <coughs> this is if you're carrying. On a day-to-day -day basis, when I carry, I have one in the head. So, if you're carrying, you draw. If you don't have one in the head, now you have one in the head. For demonstration purposes, it's not one in the head, really. I just, I have this sitting on the side. But I say when you pull it and you draw, it takes, a, it takes I would say it takes a second away, and then you have to go aim. So me, I already have one in the head. So when I draw, I can go aim. And I pull it up like this to keep it facing towards my body, just so I'm not, actually facing it at anybody who doesn't need to fire and face at them and also what can happen is your mind works faster than your 
I don't know if it's it's one or the two. Your, your either your hands work faster than your mind, or your mind for, works faster than your hand. So if your it's your mind works faster than your hand. <clears throat> so in this situation where you may have to discharge your firearm, by the time you've already thought about shooting your weapon, you already shot it. So you pull, you aim, you shoot. Me, I just always want to make sure it's clear. So you pull, you aim, you shoot. You pull, you aim, you shoot. You pull, pull, aim, shoot. You guys just want to keep going over that. Pull, aim, shoot. Now for me, it would be a little bit simpler. It would just be pulling, aiming, and shooting. For guys who don't carry with one in the head, you gotta pull, bring it up to your other hand, and then, boom. So, this is a longer slide. Uh, this is, I believe this is five, five and a half inch barrel. Um, <clears throat> with this, I would say, it's a slightly bigger gun. Uh, <laughs> I can grip my whole hand around it. <clears throat> and this also carries, 19 shots maybe 20 shots plus one or two so the best I, the best bet just get comfortable with the firearm one thing i can tell you this isn't okay keep your finger off of that trigger let me tell you because and this is me being a gun owner and you know being truthful with you guys i've literally pulled the trigger not knowing there was something in there at least once or twice. And then just like, and that's a negligent, a negligent discharge. So that's just you just being all funny, just bah! Why? You know, I was younger then, I'm older now, but in situations like that, I was lucky because there wasn't no one around, you know, and I didn't shoot anyone. But for other people, you might not be so lucky. You might be playing with it and boom and shoot somebody. So keep your finger off the trigger unless you're gonna use it. You can keep it up here, you can keep it across. Whichever one is more comfortable for you. Um, so, always keep it pointed in a safe direction. If you point this at me, like the guy in the camera is pointing back at me, you better use it. If you're gonna, if you're gonna point this at somebody, you better use it. Why? Because that, a whole lot of legal trouble is what's gonna happen if you point this at somebody and <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry if you point this at somebody and you don't use it Only use a firearm when it's necessary Please guys, please you get in an argument with your girlfriend. She's cheating. Don't go use it on her her side piece Come on guys. It's 2020 now. It's a billion people in this world People are making babies left and right. Please. It's not worth your life going to jail over a female who don't love you if she cheated, she cheated. Damn, boy, go get somebody else. Man, this firearm is for protection. Not because you got upset about, about at your girlfriend. That's childish. Come on, guys. This is what you're going to do. Say it with me. Pull. Look at my finger. Look at my finger. Don't, don't have your finger on that trigger because, like I said, your, <coughs> your trigger finger is going to work faster than your mind. By the time you pull this trigger, you didn't goddamn shot yourself. Finger off the trigger, pull, aim. Line up that target, squeeze. Pull, aim, line up that target, squeeze. I recommend once you feel comfortable enough to keep a bullet in the head. I say this is because, realistically, how fast can you draw your weapon? They say people can, they say cops draw their weapon in about two seconds. How fast can you draw your weapon, you know, cock the slide back, and fire? Think about that. And think, of, and what about this? Think about in this weird situation where you pull your firearm, you cock it back, right? First, first bullet go in, you pull that trigger. Pow! What if nothing comes out? Now you just wasted precious time, a whole lot of seconds by cocking that gun back, Shooting, nothing came out. Now you gotta bump, check, slide, however, however the saying goes. Bump it, rack it, take that bullet out, and then shoot again. <clears throat> In real life situations, 
every second counts. So this is something I carry on me like on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, this is my, like I said, this is my Glock. I mean, this is my CZP09. Glock, guys, I swear, they always want a Glock. So this is what I use for conceal. Smaller round, um, this one is already empty. This is gonna be my Smith & Wesson 45 Shield. This is empty. I like this one for conceal. Uh, this one is six shots, plus one, slim. So I know you guys were like, you just said you don't like slim. I didn't say I didn't like slim. I said the Glock 43, I don't really like the slim version of it just because the peak extender is hard for me to carry. But for this one, this is a 45. So let me actually show you the difference in between the mag sizes. So this is a 45. And this is six shots. This is six plus one, so this is seven. So look how, look how much longer that is. So you put that in there and you got, I got a perfect grip on here, perfect conceal, and it also, and it shoots really well. So boom. So, firearm safety. Number one priority. So step one, firearm safety. Step two, keep your finger off the trigger. That goes into step one, firearm safety. Step three, don't carry with one in the head if you're not ready. That ties into step one, firearm safety. Step four, pull, aim, shoot. When you're comfortable. When I say when you're comfortable, because you, you have one in the head when I say pull, aim, shoot. So, if you're not comfortable, pull, rack the slide, aim, shoot. So, like I said, this one will be concealed. In a concealed situation, pull up that shirt. You know what I'm saying? Pull up that shirt, grab it out. Rack it back. Boom. Hit him. It's okay if you miss your first shot. You might be nervous in situations. That's okay to be nervous. But just think about it. With a gun like this and a smaller compact weapon, you don't have that many shots to work with. So if this is the only gun you're carrying on you, or say you have like a maybe Taurus G2S, uh, 38 Special, 6 shots, Glock 27, 10 shots. Every, every shot counts. So you can't just be free willy nilly, just bang, 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 bang. It's not gonna work like that. In a real life situation, you have to be conservative. Unless you're carrying more than one mag with you, and I know a lot of people don't do that. Uh, they probably just have a firearm with the one mag. Uh, me, I like to carry uh, outside the waistband or inside the waistband, uh, and also maybe a knife or something, another firearm in my car. One thing I can say is I understand how crucial it is uh, with six shots. Six, seven shots, so seven shots and then one in the head, eight shots. Now, if you're not, if you're not tenured, you know, if someone comes guns blazing, the closer you get to the target, the easier it is gonna be shoot. So, if you haven't been shooting 30, 30 yard shots at the range, don't shoot 30 yard shots in real life. You know, maneuver, get a little closer, maneuver, maneuver, get a little closer and take that shot because in a real life situation, you and this firearm could save lives. Regardless of the narrative of what everyone telling you, this firearm saves lives more than it takes lives. It might not be on the day-to-day -day news, and it might because you guys hear all oh, uh, mass shooting this, mass shooting that, mass shooting this. Not every gun owner is a bad and irresponsible gun owner. Get yourself a firearm. You know what I'm saying? 2A strong. Learn how to shoot. Pull. Aim, squeeze. We'll leave the gun guys out of here.